so sorry. You need to watch where you're going, loser. You need to put that back in the tube. I can't. Just like you can't take back your words. Yeah, squirt a little toothpaste on this paper. Okay, so why do you think I just made you do that? To draw a picture with draw? toothpaste. I no. Yeah. To squirt toothpaste. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> um, because I was told to? Do you think you can put it back in the tube? Yes. Okay, let's see you try. It's not working. It's a little hard, isn't it? You want to know what else is really hard to take back once you do it? Your words. This month is Suicide Awareness Month, and we're trying to teach the fact that once you say something mean, you can't take it back. Just like how you can't put toothpaste back in its tube. Yeah. Thank, you, Thank you, Evan. So what are we going to do at Rosso for now? Be kind. Be kind. Be kind. Your words have power. The toothpaste shows just how much weight your words carry. You can apologize. You can move on. But you can't take them back. You have the opportunity to encourage, inspire, heal, and love others. You also have the opportunity to make the wrong choice. Your words can hurt. Demean. Slander and deeply wound others. Your words can literally have the power of life or death. Use your words carefully and thoughtfully. Make the choice every morning that life-giving words will be shared with others. When you're upset, take a 10 minute break before you hit send on that text. Decide right now that you are going to be a life giver and maybe even a lifesaver. Just with your words. Be known for your gentleness and compassion. You will never ever regret choosing kindness.